Hello and welcome to Home Ownership, Section 3, Lesson 5, In Defense of Gentrification. Today you will write a claim about your stance on gentrification. You will read the article in Defense of Gentrification and Gentrification Doesn't Trickle Down to Everyone. You will use the information that you gained in those articles to further refine your arguments. Before we get started on the lesson, let's look at our culminating writing task. Through reading of the unit text and additional research, you will develop an argument in response to the unit question. Is the dream of home ownership viable for all Americans within a more focused subtopic area? Using information from your reading, you will develop an argumentative thesis supported by a series of evidence-based claims, including at least one counter-argument to an opposing perspective or position. You will organize your thesis, claims, and evidence into a unified, coherent, well-reasoned argument that addresses a specific purpose and audience. Here are our lesson learning targets for this lesson. Can you make a claim about gentrification in America? Can you respond to counterclaims? For this lesson, you will need your reading response journal, the article Gentrification Doesn't Trickle Down to Everyone, and In de Defense of Gentrification. Before reading, you're going to answer the questions in Nearpod to approach the text. Based on your position about gentrification, you're going to read the articles as follows. If you believe that gentrification is a beneficial thing for both neighborhoods and the economy, you will read in defense of gentrification. If you believe that gentrification is a negative thing for minorities and impoverished people, you will read gentrification doesn't trickle down. You are going to answer the questions in Nearpod. What is the text type and what do you understand about the text based on the text type and title? Immediately after that, you're going to read the article that you would side with. You will have five minutes to answer the questions in Nearpod and then another 10 minutes afterwards to read the articles. As you read the articles, I want you to consider the reading focuses. Fo foci. Is the trend in the United in U.S. cities toward gentrification a mostly positive or mostly negative development for people who live there? How might you counter the arguments of those who take the opposite side? Given your position on gentrification and the evidence you have considered, what do you think the U.S. response toward the t to the trend toward gentrification should be? Again, you'll have five minutes to answer the question in Nearpod and then 10 minutes to read your chosen article. <laughs> 